Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your dose of zombies news from the game and its community here on COD Zombies HQ. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We've got a whole bunch of different zombies news tidbits as well as some interesting clips that I think you're going to want to see. So without further ado, let's kick things right off with our first story of the day. If you played Marudar and Toten and you've actually completed the song Easter egg on the map, a traditional Easter egg that's basically on every single Treyarch zombies map, one thing you might notice is that you've actually heard the song that plays at the end of the Easter egg before. That's because instead of the traditional Kevin Sherwood original song we usually see in Treyarch Zombies maps, they decided to license out a song for this Easter egg. And the reason why was actually explained by Kevin Sherwood over on his Discord, where he said that his duties as a sound designer over at Treyarch just left him no time to actually come up with an original song for Maurer and Toten, leaving Treyarch just to simply license a song instead. I will say one of the most impressive things about Maurer, I'm not sure if you guys agree with me, but the sound in this map is fantastic, and you can definitely hear that a lot of work went into the sound design of this map. Next up, if you've managed to build close, just remember to be very careful when hanging around the subway tracks, as Reddit user Grinola demonstrates, because Klaus has a tendency to, what? Uh, jump into oncoming traffic. So as helpful as he may be, remember it's basically like taking care of a child and don't lead him towards danger. Next up is an update to a story we covered in yesterday's video for players on the Xbox Series X who were playing with wall hacks unintentionally, where walls and textures just straight up weren't spawning in on Maradar and Toten. Treyarch has said that they have fixed that issue, so you shouldn't really have to worry about that anymore. But one thing you might have to worry about moving on to our next story is that when one of the biggest Twitch streamers XQC was playing Maradar and Toad yesterday, he encountered uh, this interesting bug that I definitely think you guys should be aware of if this happens to you. Instead of going darn I got Treyarched and simply sitting on the rappel rope forever, you can solve it as he does by pausing and unpausing the game to go down the various stories of the building one at a time. I know we've covered issues of people simply instantly going down when reaching the top of rappel ropes. This issue is of course related to going down the rappel ropes, but of course you'll know how to fix it if it happens to you or your friends in your game. Next up, I've seen a lot of discussion on where the next possible side easter egg on Maradar and Toten could come from. Where right now there seems to be two general areas that people are kind of gravitating towards. The first is that there might be some kind of round-based easter egg like we saw on Dimashine, where after a certain round, the Orda appears in the distance on that map, and people are speculating that something similar could happen here on Maradar and Toten that just hasn't been found out yet. The second area that people honed into as soon as the map released, and I saw basically everybody playing this map for the first time goes, yeah, this is probably part of an easter egg, but it just hasn't been as of yet, and that is the phone booth that we know is relevant to the zombies storyline as it's seen in the intro cutscene for Cold War Zombies where Samantha Maxis talks to Weaver from this phone booth. It's pretty prominent on the map itself, leading people to believe that yes, it might be related to some kind of easter egg. It of course could just be a general static reference to that intro cutscene, but, but of course that's not as fun as theorizing that it could have some kind of interactability being related to an actual in-game side easter egg. Next up as an update to the mega knife lunge jump that we covered a few episodes ago, Players are figuring out how to do it more consistently and that of course you can open Pack-a-Punch early using this method as Reddit user Retro has shown in this clip here. So if you manage to get this lunge jump in your own game, obviously it's probably gonna have to be in solo as you automatically have that self revive or after falling down from the tower you can then revive yourself and go ahead and open up Pack-a-Punch. It'll be interesting to see whether any kind of speedrunning strats for the easter egg or to achieve a certain round might arise as a result of this strategy, but of course the biggest thing in those cases is being able to hit that knife lunge jump consistently. Next up, I saw this clip and it, it got a genuine laugh out of me, I think you guys will like it too, where Bergman over on Reddit is playing some outbreak facing off against the Orda, when his buddy in the jeep decides to YOLO into the Orda, and instead of just hitting a brick wall, the Orda climbs on board, and his buddy takes the Orda for a wild ride to the world border. Of course, followed promptly by the jeep being slingshotted into the stratosphere. Speaking of the Orda, there is some speculation that it might still make an appearance in some form 
form here on Maradar on Toad, not really as a boss, but perhaps as a sighting in the distance, similar to how it was in the very first map, Di Machine. And again, people are speculating that it'll be related to some kind of high round Easter egg on the map itself. But guys, that wraps up today's video. If you did enjoy it, hey, consider hitting the thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you with another Zombies News video tomorrow. Peace.